can you unzip me? I can't get out. What are you saying? I'm like, we have zippers tying us together. I'm Trevor Wallace, and this is the time I tripped balls in a fraternity basement from smoking too much salvia. This was my sophomore year in college, so I wasn't old enough to drink, and the homie who had the fake ID was out of town or something, or studying some bullshit, but this older guy, he was like a six-year senior, he played lacrosse, his name was Ethan, because every guy that plays lacrosse is named Ethan. Ethan had like 80 milligram salvia, and we're just like kind of walking around the halls, and he's like, you want to do salvia right now? And honestly, like literally he could have said anything. He's like, do you want to commit arson? Do you want to make mac and cheese? I would have been down. I had shit, I had nothing going on. I do want to say this wasn't my first time doing salvia. The first time I actually did it, I was in high school and I did it on top of a hill and I really liked it. It was cool. I like smoked it and I felt like the world was spinning. Not like the drunk spins, but like a music video spin where like the edits are really cool. I felt like it was in a music video, but like probably not for a rap music video because you know, I don't know, maybe an indie rock band. Second time I did it, I laughed really hard and played with a vacuum. So I was pumped to do it. I was like, cool, let's get back to this whole music video vacuum type feel. So I remember saying yes. And then we kind of just like accrued a little group. And then we all went to the basement for whatever reason. Anytime you're in a frat basement, you should never feel comfortable. Like it's not a great place to just lounge. It was dark, it smelt weird. There was like random hieroglyphics on the wall, even though the house was built like 10 years ago. The funniest part about this whole thing is salvia is legal, but we treated it like we were doing heroin in the basement in the 1800s in the prohibition era. You can buy salvia if you're 18. If you're 18 and up, you can trip balls for the hardest you've ever tripped for like seven minutes and then just go right the fuck back to your day. I don't know how salvia is legal. They banned fucking four locos before salvia. They're like, oh, that's a little too wild. Oh, I'm sorry, have you ever smoked a thing that'll make you see the Imagine Dragons live in your own living room? How the fuck is salvia legal? Anyways, he gets this group of people, we're all in the basement, there's like eight of us, and we're, we're sitting in a circle. It's only this half of this circle was doing it. I'm not thinking anything of it. I'm the first person to go. And if you've never smoked salvia, which if you have a job, you probably never have, this is how it works. You take a hit and you hold it in as long as you can and you just let it out because you start laughing so hard and then it's just in. Look, not to flex, but one time I went in a Tesla Model 3 S and they gassed it and they fucking boom, and it's like that. Like edibles are kind of more like you're on a Vespa going up a hill in San Francisco. It's a slow rise to the top. This shit is like, bitch, I'm here. It kicks in the door. It's FBI, open up, you're tripping, right? And the last thing you wanna see when you're on drugs is people staring at you. That's why the fucking circle was the worst thing you could have had. And then I got four people out of circle going, do you feel it? Do you feel it? Do you feel it? And for whatever reason, every time you do drugs, there's always one asshole who's like, hey, does this trip you out? It yes. Your hand looks like Edward Scissorhands is trying to fuck me, bro. Get out of here. And I remember I tried to go to get up. I'm like, let me get out of here. I'm in a basement, but I, I, I feel the side of my leg. It's like zippered in. And you know when you say a really dumb reference and you think everybody's gonna get on board? You're like, yeah, man. Like, I just love having pickles with my Cheerios. And they're like, what? And you're like, that's not, that's not a normal thing to do. I thought I was like being relatable to everybody. I was like, hey man, can you unzip me? I can't get out. Like we're all zipped up. And then look, what are you saying? I'm like, we have zippers tying us together. Nobody's understanding what I'm saying. I felt like a child who wanted breast milk and there was no titty around to be sucked. And then I'm panicking. The next dude starts tripping. He's laughing hard as fuck. And that only raised mine. So now I'm freaked out. I'm like, why is everybody laughing at me? Suddenly I just stand up. I'm like, I'm going upstairs. And Ethan, frat dude, He's also doesn't do it. So what kind of fucking pyramid scheme is this? He's like, oh, you got to come do it. And then he doesn't do it. Hey, if you're going to bring the drugs, do it with me. What kind of narc shit is that? He's, he's telling me, he's like, you got to stay down here. You can't go. All I want to do is get upstairs to my room and be in my fucking bunk bed in peace and harmony. Eventually, I just leave the group and I go upstairs to my bedroom and I just lay in the top bunk of my bed. And then my friend's like, are you good, bro? And I was just like, yeah, bro, good. I'm good, bro. Keep in mind, this is all at 2 p.m. So from 2 to 2.19, I had seen a fucking lifetime. And then 2.20 rolls around. I'm like, you guys want to go get food or something? Um, and I'm just naked in the hallway of my fraternity house. Tales from the... Congrats, you made it to the end. You're one of 3% of YouTube viewers. 
Anyways, if you want to watch a bunch of other videos I've done with Comedy Central, just go to the Comedy Central page, type in Trevor Wallace, and watch some fun shit. Alright, see you guys there.